Good day everyone! This machine is one of the greatest machines ever invented for nurses and pharmacies around the world. And patients are also benefiting from this as they are given fast, quality care that they deserve without placing too much stress on the medical staff. What is this machine? It's an automated medication dispensing machine called Pixis or Pixis MedStation. It is like a mini pharmacy that can be placed anywhere in your nursing floor or in your station. I will show you basic features and how to operate it. I am sure that you will encounter this machine in your near future as this is being used all over the world like Singapore, some parts of the Middle East, UK, and the United States. Just imagine having a mini pharmacy in your nursing station or medication room. Doesn't that sound wonderful? In my previous hospital where there is a new order for the medication, I have to type in the order, send a computer request order to the pharmacy, wherein often I still need to inform them that there is an order place, then go three floors down to the pharmacy, then keep or fall in line with other nurses getting the medicine. Then go back to the nurse's station with the medicine. Just to find out that there are new medications ordered and you have to do the whole process again. Or that the patient is actually allergic to that particular medication wherein she forgot to mention it earlier. The whole process of just procuring the medication takes about 15 to 30 minutes. But with this machine, once there is a new order, I will just log into this machine, look for the patient, and select or type the medication details, then take the medication out, then hit exit. It literally can take less than a minute. It's easy to use, less stressful, and best of all, patient can get the medication they need within 5 minutes. I will show you how it works, other great features like returning the medicine, locating the medication in different pixels in your hospital, and etc. First, go to the medication room where the Pixis medications are normally placed and fingerprint login. On your first day of work, you will undergo a registration process with the Pixis med station by an authorized personnel which takes about 5 minutes to create an account based on your fingerprint and credentials. After logging in, multiple main options will pop up. Remove medication, return medicine, waste medicine, inventory, and etc. I will explain later. Let's go to the remove option first. It will then show the list of patients that are linked to the Pixis, which are typically the patients assigned in your nursing unit or floor. It will appear alphabetically by their last name, in which you can switch it to room numbers as well. Then just find the patient's account, then select. It will now display all the medications ordered for that particular patient. You can just select or highlight each of the medications you need. But if you are just starting your shift, you need to get all the medications you need for that period. You can select the remove by time instead and just type in the range of your shift. For me, it's 7.59 a.m. Even though I only work from 6.45 to 7 a.m. by right. Anything scheduled at 8 a.m. is not part of my shift's jurisdiction anymore. Then click accept. Then all of the medications due for that shift will be shown excluding the PRN medications, so you can select all of them. So if you want to add in other medications, just press the profile medication and it will show all the medicines that are not selected. Just locate the additional medication and select. If everything is ready, then just click remove selections. The specific drawer pops up and on the screen, it will show the name of the medication, asking you to verify the medication count. Some Pixis, depending on the hospital policy, does not have this page anymore. So, I don't count them unless it requires me to do so in order to proceed. So, just click yes for now. On the screen, it shows you the name of the medication, how many pieces of medicine you should take, which drawer and pocket number to get the medicine from. Take the correct number of medication out, then close the door properly. But, if the next medication is from the same drawer, an accept button will appear. So just press the accept button, locate the packet number, then take the medication out, then close the drawer properly. For the controlled drugs, the machine may require you to count the correct remaining number of medications left inside and key in correctly. You only have two correct chances. If wrong, a piece of paper will come out and with details of your name and inventory discrepancy, which you have to settle with your charge nurse or supervisor. FYI, controlled substance medication discrepancy is a big issue here in the United States if some of them go missing magically, so please be wary. Then, close the drawer properly. 
then it will lead right next to the next medication with the same process until you finish collecting all of your medications. We put the medications inside a small Ziploc bag per patient. Then proceed to the next patient, then follow the same process until you secure all the medications you need for your patients. For some new or stat medications ordered, wherein you need to administer ASAP and is still in the process of verification, you can just press the override button and type in the name of the medication. Oftentimes, you need someone to witness or verify with you requiring their fingerprint account to proceed, unless it is part of the emergency drug list. Another feature is returning the medication. So simply just log into the main page, then select return, then select the patient, then the list of all the medications which was taken out from the pixies will be shown, including the specific details like who took out the medication, what time, and how many pieces were taken out. Select the medicine you want to return. You can add more by pressing the select next med button. If you're done selecting the medications you need to return, press return now. Then verify the medications and the number of pieces, then place it inside the return bin slot. Then, Turn it around so it falls securely inside the bin, then click accept. Then voila, simple and easy, right? Unlike back in my previous hospital, where you have to rush to write all the details of the medication on a piece of paper, run fast down to the pharmacy, two to floors down, then run back up to the nurse's station, and hope pharmacy will process it fast, especially if you need to close the patient's billing account before the cutoff period which was about 2 minutes from the time you have written the return slip. Am I right or am I right? Kawai kawai or hello to all the Filipino nurses back home. I know you guys can relate much. Anyway, for bigger items that won't fit inside the return bin box, depending on the hospital policy and procedure, there are two ways I have encountered. One, print out the receipt and attach it to the medication. Then place them on a designated bin box for the pharmacist to collect. Another method, when you press the return button, it will direct you to put it back to the original slot in the pixies. In cases of returning controlled drugs like morphine, diluted, other narcotics, pixies med station will require another account as witness to proceed in returning the controlled drugs, preventing nurses who are addicted to pain narcotics from stealing the medications. So make sure they return it inside the return bin if you are witnessing. You are legally responsible to that particular medications once you scan your fingerprint. Next common feature nurses normally use is the waste button. Whatever medication you didn't use or whatever was left inside of the vial or if the medication can't be returned to the pixies, like if the meds fell on the ground or for any reasons, you should waste them on the pixies for documentation purposes and save you from scrutiny just in case an investigation will be done for medication discrepancy. Select the waste button, then select the patient, select the medication to waste, then press the waste medication button. Type in the amount given to the patient and it automatically computes for the amount wasted. Verify first then press accept. Then dispose the medication at proper receptacles. For wasting controlled drug substances, you have to have a witness also in order to proceed to make sure that it was wasted properly and not ingested or pocketed by primary staff. Drug addiction among nurses here in the United States is real, like Nurse Jackie in the US series. Another feature with this machine is Global Find. It helps you find the medication in other pixies that are not found in your pixies or have run out. Just type in the name of the medicine and it will point out which pixies location contains that particular medication. This will lessen wasting precious time of browsing through different pixies that do not contain that particular medicine. Once you have located the said pixies, just log in to their pixies. It will not show your patient's name as it is primarily linked to their unit or department. So you need to add patients on their system. So make sure to bring a patient sticker label and key in the patient's details and of course the medication details you are getting. Type in the last name, first name, patient's hospital ID number, room number and bed number. Then proceed with the override manner of taking out the medication. The pharmacist's role here 
is to monitor the stock level via computer system and refill the Pixis medication daily and customize it according to the nurse station's common medication needs. It literally makes the job of a pharmacist less toxic as they don't have to process medications order one at a time. All they have to do is refill the machine in one go. Patients who are in pain or in need of medication treatment can be medicated and possibly treated in less than 5 minutes. Fast, quality care lessens the stress brought by the patients and persistent relatives to the medical staff. I really wish this machine was available during my days back in the Philippines. My nursing life then could have been easier, really. Just imagine this machine in your nursing floor right now. Great, right? Or for those who have this, imagine if you don't have this anymore and back to the old days. Yikes. I will be giving you more show and tell videos of my life here in the United States, including a day in the life of a nurse here in the US. So make sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell and share to your friends. I am Nurse Juan de la Cruz, your OFW nurse. Thank you for watching.